Open your book to page 114. So this lesson is, again, is evaluation, but this one using the formula, they have significance. So all these have, this, have some topics. And so if you go to example one, so go to page 115, look at example one. So it says, giving the formula, A equal to one half BH. So it says find A when B equal to 17 and H equal to 12. So it's nothing new. It's exactly what we just went over. It's substitution, evaluation, okay? But the difference is that the formula they give you have, they, they give you have a special significance. Like this one, it, this is for geometry, and this is a formula for finding the area of a triangle. So area of a triangle is one half base times height, okay? So, so again, all you have to do is exactly the same thing. So area equal to one half, base is 17, and the height is 12. And so you can use your calculator, you can multiply out, so you get 102, and that's it. Okay. And like when you get to example three, pay close attention to, num uh, to example three. It says giving, giving the formula S equal to one half G uh, T squared, and this is about physics. So this is a formula for the, um, the, the distance of an object during the free fall. So for example, if you're on the top of the building and you drop an object and the, the object is going to fall, right? So this is a formula that tells you how far the, 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 the object will, will fall, like if you drop a ball from the top of the building. Okay. And so this one over here, it says fun S when G equal to 32, by the way, the, the label for this would be feet per second square. Okay, yeah, that's the label, so you have to be aware of that. T equal to five and a half second. So again, that's the label. So you need to be, uh, be familiar with them. Okay, so you substitute, so S equal to one half times G, so it's 32, and T is, I'm gonna make into fraction, so five and a half is 11 over two square. Okay. Or you can use decimal 5.5. .5. Okay. The, the mixed number is kind of junk, so stay away from mixed numbers if you can. So use your calculator, punch in the numbers, so you get 484, and the label would be feet. So make sure if that label involved, make sure you put in the feet. In this one, they don't have, but on the test, you would be, you, you, will have, you will see these kind of labels. Okay. So make sure you're familiar with this. So this type of form would be on the test. So make sure you be familiar with it. And um, let's go to example six. So you have the S equal to A times one minus R to the N over one minus R. And it tells you that A equal to negative four R equal to one half, and n equal to three. So when you substitute, so a is negative four. R is one half. N is three. One minus r. So. So this is the formula to find sum of the geometric. Uh, series, so you know this in algebra 2. So again, when you work it out, so you got negative 4 times 1 minus, so you work this part out, you get 1 over 8, right? 1 to the 3 power is 1, 2 to the 3 power is 8, 1 minus 1 half. So, and this one you can distribute, okay? So, or you can just work it out, use your calculator. So this is 7 eighth, so it'd be 7 over 2, negative. And so this will equal to negative 7. So you got negative 7 over 2, divide by 1 half, you get negative 7. Okay, and that's how you work this out. So again, nothing new, right? You have the, they're going to give you the formula, so you don't have to memorize any formula. Okay, on a test, the formulas will be given. And again, you, all you have to do is just substitute and learn the order operation and work things out. And that's all you have to do. So it's very simple. So let's go and do some practice.